Welcome back guys, it's been a day, but welcome back to episode 9 now of the FIFA 21 Arsenal career mode And the first thing that jumps out of me after off this page, should I say, is Harry Kane, top goal scorer over Lacazette How dare he do that, the rival As uh, Also we had Danny Ings on 9 there, who we play first against the Saints, we're in 19th, I've just checked before we start But welcome back guys Hope you've had a good Sunday yesterday. Hope you tuned into the stream that was out. As we have Southampton first, we have Wolverhampton second, both away. Then we have Spurs. We have the rivals. And then we have Peterborough and Liverpool in the cup. So this is not an easy episode at all. We're going to play Spurs. We're going to play Southampton. And then I think we're going to play Liverpool as well. Peterborough should, well, we should be winning against them. Of course, it's the uh, January transfer window as well. Wolves. I might actually play Wolves, you know, instead of uh, Southampton in this first game. I actually think I will. As they sit in 6th, uh, uh, Spurs in 5th, and Liverpool in 1st. But, of course, we're playing them in the Cup. So, yeah. Whew. Got that out of the way. But, yeah, here we go. Southampton to simulate first. Also, I'd like to apologise as well for not streaming on the Saturday. And, of course, not getting the video out for you on Sunday. I'm having a couple of issues with copyright, which I found no time to actually sort them out. Despite the issues, so there's the issues to sort out, and then there's the time finding it to sort them out when I'm not recording. So here we go with the first team. Leno in the net, Bellerin, Gabriel, Alvedi, Tierney, Xhaka, Partey and Hasim Awa with Pepe, Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick, Aubameyang. That's the team for Southampton. Yes, it's a strong team, and we've got Southampton next, but we are second in the league. And it looks like Leicester's dropped points. We're going to stay second, 10 points behind Liverpool. Not bothered about catching them up. Just want the Champions League to start off with, as we're going to simulate this game. And can we get the win again? Struggling Southampton, easy. 4-0. Aubameyang and Lacazette getting the late goals with uh, Thomas getting the first. That's party, I think. And Aubameyang actually getting two, in matter of fact. Very nice result. And it's actually good to beat the old fellow player in Gwenduzi, who we sold there. I could see he got subbed off. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below, Arsenal fans. What do you think to Matteo Gwenduzi? Is he good that you've got rid of him? Are you happy I've got rid of him on here? Or do you want to see him actually turn out to be good for you in the future? Although, he's... Um, I'd say anger tantrums are there to be seen. But here we go, Wolverhampton. Let's move off Gwenduzi. As I think I'm going to play the same team. Anyone really tired? Not really. So I'll go with Leno, Bellerin, Gabriel, Elvedi, Tierney, Xhaka, Partey, Awa, Pepe, Lacazette and Aubameyang. With Pepe, Awa and Gabriel all going up a rating, which is what you love to see. Here we go, Aubameyang shooting. Looks like he's the main player. Five goals in his last three games. Yes, most of them in simmed. But yeah, we need to see more from Aubameyang in actual played games. But it's nice to see he's actually doing well. And let's have a look at this Wolverhampton lineup. How are they going to do it? They've got Rue Patricio still in the net. With the Dama Traore, Ramos and Dendonka Martial and Johnny at the back. As Martinho and Ryan Bennett's in midfield. Okay, the Grimsby lad in midfield. Harry, Jimenez and Pudence. Harry's a good signing. That's a very good signing. With Neves being subbed over Ryan Bennett. Who actually isn't at uh, Wolves anymore. He's gone to Leicester, I think. It's a bit of a weird one, that one. You never know. They could have uh, put the former Grimsby man in the middle in training and actually changed his position. We've done that with a couple of our boys. As can we try and get an early goal here at the Molyneux to try and settle nerves. The beat is at home in a sim game. But it goes to Pepe here. I've been told to finesse with him a bit more. And I've tried. And it's gone quite close, so good suggestion. And we've only conceded 11 goals in 19 games. Who would have thought that Arsenal's defence being the best? As this is Thomas Partey. He turns straight back into his defender, though. That was a bit stupid and gives Wolves the ball. Anthony, or Daniel Pedence, I think his actual name is, running away with the ball. This guy I can see being a really good player in the future in real life and on FIFA, a couple of informs. As Bennett gets the ball now. Bennett gives it into Jao Moutinho. Good move, Wolves. But a tackle from Tierney in the middle gets the ball back. Now Lacazette. Can we make uh, this move worthwhile? He goes out to Aubameyang. Can he get six in four games? Aubameyang, still travelling, goes for the shot, cross net, what a save, Patricio, one-handed. Gives us a chance to come forward as well as Lacazette, turns out, gives it Hausim Awa, he's got a defender in Marshall in front of him, who he needs to turn inside of, good ball roll, can he get it to Lacazette, he can, for his 16th, good save, oh and it looks like it was falling back to him, that was a really weird camera angle that didn't allow us to see where the ball actually landed, and it's a chance squander from Laka. And here's Jao Moutinho for Wolverhampton. Gets it back. Tries to play it straight through to Jimenez with a 1-2, but it doesn't work. Now Granny Xhaka to go out wide to Kieran Tierney. Tierney gets the ball. Travels down the line. Keep on going, Kieran. Keep on going. He's got Aubameyang 
outside of him. Uses Aubameyang. Can he whip a ball into Laka? It's Pepe arriving. But it's good build-up from Arsenal. Really good build-up from us. As Pepe gets the ball again now, though. Gives it to Xhaka. We're on the edge of the box now with Awa. Awa goes for a long shot. And it wasn't that bad, you know. But still, not that good. It's been a rather even game this first half. But you know what happened last time? They scored two really late goals as Harrits caught offside. It looks like the halftime whistle probably will go before we can get another chance off, I'm guessing. As we might actually get one off. Lacazette here turns out, tries to get past Ramusen, who's a new signing, I think, who's played really well in the two games we've played him. But there we go, nil-nil at the halfway mark in this game. A couple of good results there and thereabouts. Says, come on, we need this win to stay second. And here is Partey, gives it out to Pepe. Okay, let's get a chance off here. Good roulette from Pepe. Gives it to Partey. Now Lacazette turns out, goes for a shot, and it's blocked straight in front of his face. So we can't really get shots off. The five at the back from Wolves really taking all the pressure we've got to throw at them. They're not doing well, but if we keep plugging away... I think it might come. And here's the next attack. Gives it to Partey from Alwar, I think, as Lacazette runs straight into Martial. It's really not a good game here for the Gunners. I mean, we've got all the ball, but the defence of Wolves, just impossible to get past. It does seem like they're playing for a draw. As that's a good ball in, though. And Leno actually opts to punch it instead of catching it. Okay, bit of a weird choice, but we've still got it from Tierney, who I think has been the best player. I mean, Wolves haven't had more attacks, but... Tierney's done it offensively and defensively today as the passing's just not on. However, here comes Nicolas Pepe. Keep on going. He's got Martial to beat. Can he turn him? Oh, that's the wrong move I wanted to do. But he's still got the ball. Gives it to Lacazette. Aubameyang's free. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Has he beaten the offside trap? He hasn't. I thought he had. He looked onside there, referee. But apparently not. As Nketi is going to come on for Lacazette. And it remains nil-nil despite Alba's goal. Oh, it really should have been a goal, though. Really. So have we got a ball through the middle here? Lacazette. Oh, I can't step past his man. And it looks like it's going to be a nil-nil. We're going to drop straight from second place. I can just feel it. If we actually don't lose this game as well. As that's a bad tackle from Elvedi. He could be out of the game here. And he is. We've been dominant in this fixture. But with about three minutes to go, Nicol Elvedi has been dismissed. He's going to miss the Tottenham game as well now. So David Luiz has got to step up and, oh dear, that is a shocker. Danny Tobias to come on as well as Moutinho stands over it. Is Neves there as well? I thought Neves would have took it, but it's Moutinho to strike over the wall, straight into the hands of Leno, and I can't believe that. Why have we ended up getting a man sent off? I mean, it was through. Stupid tackle from Elvedi. I gave him praise in the first half. As can we still rob it with 10 men, though? Can we still rob it? Uh, Nketiah, who played really well against Stoke, I think, last time out, but he's not going to get on that ball. And that's a poor pass, so it's going to end if we can get rid of this, Hector Bellerin. It's going to definitely end nil-nil, unless last minute. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. There we go. Nil-nil with Wolverhampton at the Molyneux. Bit of a disappointing result, how the game went. I think we should have got a goal with our domination, but it wasn't to be, as you can see, the domination. I was correct on that. I'm not making up stats. As, yeah, 10 men, nil-nil. I guess it's satisfying. And to my surprise, we actually stay in second. Okay, Manchester City getting a draw as well as a player suspended, El Fede. And Lazio want Reese Nelson on a short-term loan. I think that's the only acceptable one that's coming for him. They all come in loan options to buy for like 5 million, so that's not good enough. But Lazio, you can have him for his experience. Oh, but here we go, the big one. They're in fifth, Leicester City on a huge drop down as we go into the North London derby against fifth. And we are second above them for the first time in quite a while, I think. So, got to make the most of it and stay there with a the win. Oh, here's the team sheet. A lot of tired players. I like to see a couple's gone up in rating, though. With Leno, Bellerin, 83. Gabriel, David Luiz, and Tierney, 82. With Xhaka, Party and Hausim Awa. Pepe, Laka, and Aubameyang finally going back up to 87. Stub bit. It should be still higher, though. I don't get how he starts at 87 this FIFA. That is an absolute shocker. But can he up it here against the rivals? Come on. Spurs at home. Put it in against Wolves as much as I would have liked to. So can we do it here? Good pass to Aubameyang. Can we actually start the scoring off? Aubameyang with a shot. Oh, get to it secondly. And he's rolled across net. Like the Lacazette chance last game as David Luiz wins the header. I'd like to see that early on. We still don't score. Oh, I really thought we'd do well with that movers. 15 minutes on the clock. Spurs trying to play it round, but how's he? Mauer's having none of it. Wins the ball in the middle. Gives it to Aubameyang, who's going to cut back here. 
Give it back to Awa. Gonna look for Lacazette. Can he drag it back? No, he's just fumbled it. Oh, and after that Aubameyang chance, it's really died down here. I hate to say it because it is an important game. But yeah, nothing really happening of real intent. As could this be one though? Lacazette's free in the middle. It's gone over him. Pepe with all these good crosses all season. And when it counts against the huge scummy rivals, we just can't actually get it to the man in the middle. That is really disappointing, that one. Should have won that. Oh, and Harry Kane's battled through. He's hit the post. It's fallen back to Ali. Big save, Leno. Oh, my days. Where did that come from? As I did not expect that little voice break as well. We could take the advantage, but we're going to play on. Aubameyang comes down the side. Can we score from a Tottenham post here? Come on, Aubameyang. Cut back. Give it out wide. That was meant for Tierney. It's gone to Tierney now, though. Kieran Tierney with a chance to whip it in. Back heels it to Aubameyang. Takes a touch. He's inside the box. Goes for a long shot. And it's saved from Hugo Lloris. Getting a little bit better, especially at turning play around in these counter-attacks. I go out on a limb here as well and say Tottenham have been the better side since the 20th minute. Moving the ball really well as Harry Kane has it here. We need to try and make a tackle. It's gone over the top. And Hector Bellerin's fallen over. You can't be falling in this game as I've got a big chance here. Hyunming Song passes it. David Luiz! Oh my days! It's a good job it was offside. Because, oh no, it isn't offside. It's just the yellow card that the referee's blown the whistle for. Jeez, that's a close one. Really bad play from the defenders. And if they would have scored from that, Harry Kane, it would have been very, very controversial of David Luiz. And just before the half-hour mark, they have another corner. Can we defend this one? David Luiz has put us under pressure from the first mate, uh, mistake he made. As we've had to whack it. I just wish I had Elvedi for this one. We didn't get sent off in the last four minutes. We would do. As it's nil-nil. With Tottenham at half time, just need to keep plugging away. I mean, they have grown into the game a lot, but I've still got faith in the Gunners, still got faith in our boys, and I know what we're capable of at home. That Man United game definitely springs to mind. And how seem Awa? Can we do what we did in the first half and start brightly? Here's Aubameyang, needs to try and cut back. He does do. I mean, the defender got a touch, but he's still got the ball. Needs help, though, as he's found a really good pass. And here's Thomas Partey with a chance to score and does. Voice break, but I do not care. As we take the lead in the North London derby through Thomas Partey. Party time in the streets if we win this as well. Beautiful pass from Aubameyang, though. Look at that. How did he find that man who's just flicked it straight on? I think it's Granite Xhaka with the actual assist, but Aubameyang's going to take a lot of credit as it's a finesse from Thomas Partey, the new man who we've brought in. Pass Lloris to give us the lead in the most important game of the season. Mourinho Furious, you love to see it. And Aubameyang, come on, let's make it two. Let's make it two. Aubameyang cuts inside. Aubameyang, I'm going to take the shot on from here. I mean, it, will, it did look like it were on target, but it was an easy save for Lloris in the end. But I'm just getting a bit too confident at the moment. Just need to keep plugging away and taking his time with it. It says party's going to control that. Oh, beautiful touch. Beautiful touch from Thomas as he gets the ball in the middle to Hausim. And now Lacazette going to cut back. Put it round that corner to Awa. This is Awa. I thought the other one was as the central midfielder gets his goal. It's 2-0 in quick succession with the goals. And Hausim Awa, the other central midfielder, makes it 2. Let's have a look at this goal again. Look at this. Cuts back. Puts it round the corner. Hausim Awa, the good touch to get away from Axel Zagadou. And put it in that top corner. Beautiful finish. Beautiful stuff. 2-0 Arsenal. I've got to say, if we get a clean sheet here as well against the league's top scorer, I'd say this is the most complete performance of this save so far. As the David Luiz charging forward. I mean, we played well against Man City, but this is Tottenham. This is a fierce rivalry. And they're up for this. But we're up for it more. As can we get a goal here with Lacken? The striker scores. He might be chasing Harry Kane in this game. And it's three. Floodgates officially opened. Yep. Obama blood clot Yang with another assist. Puts it through uh, Zagadou and Alderweireld. Loris wanted to get away from it. It wasn't powerful. I don't know why he wanted to dive out of the way some, but it's gone straight past him. It's 3-0. It's Laka. It's 16 for him. And it's 3-0 for Arsenal. And Jose Mourinho might be gone after this because we are hungry. We are hungry for more goals as Aubameyang keeps the ball from Matt Doherty. What a bit of play that is. What a bit of strength shown as Partey's through again. I mean, Pepe can't find him. Pepe's had a bit of a shock, you know. But I'm not going to blame anyone. It's been a complete performance overall. And can we stop this Tottenham counter-attack to make it better? We can. We can knock them back. And Aubameyang. is the time for another one. 
Into the time. I mean, that's a horrible touch, but we've still got the ball. Laka into Pate. Cut back Pate. Give it Pepe. Can Pepe join in the fun? Cuts inside of Alder Iveld, but I was trying to get on his left foot. It doesn't matter anyway. Because it's finished 3-0 to the Arsenal. They need a new song now as the Spurs are in the mud. In the mud, they drop down from fifth even further. And we are four points in front of them now in second place still. So, what a performance. Oh, what a performance. As we move on to Peterborough next. Okay. Little cup run. I think this is the first round of the FA Cup. We'll have to see if we can get the win here. But, oh my days. Unfortunately, Real Madrid regarding the lack of playtime for Danny Ceballos have called him back. Danny Ceballos has gone back to Real Madrid. That is a shock because the transfer window has just opened. Yeah, there we go. Play alone expired. I didn't, I didn't think it was that bad on game time. We played him quite a lot. Zelvedi's back. Uh, Cole leaves on loan as well to go to Leicester. Training injury for seven days from Hector Bellerin. Okay. We've had a big high and now we're in a big low. However, there is a bit of a bright spark here because we get to play a couple of our... Well, younger boys, I'd say, as I'm going to make one more change as well here. Maybe a bit of a risk, that one. But Renarsson's in the goal with Cedric, Rob Holding, Saliba and Maitland-Niles trying to uh, train him to be a left-back. So, get some experience playing there, I guess, in an actual team with a uh, big Joel, I think it's pronounced, making his Arsenal debut in the CDM role. Hopefully, he can grow to be like a Xhaka or El Nene. With Partey staying in, we need some experience. And El Nenny at the side who's good with Willian and Ketty and Saka up front. We've also got another youth player on the bench, a left back called Mason, I think, who's 60 rated. But of course, want to train Maitland Niles up. It was a hard decision as I don't want to save the game, but I want to go into Peterborough and get a win. And Nelson has gone out. That's Reese Nelson on that short term loan to Lazio. So that's a good job. We've got him off. As we're going to go into this game here, please, Arsenal, don't let me down. It's a simulated game as well. They've got five at the back. Might be difficult to break them down, but it is Peterborough, and we should be getting a win as it's one apiece. Oh, my days. Drawing with Peterborough. The posh actually dominating on possession as well. That's a bit disappointing, as it was Nketi with a goal, and I didn't actually see who got theirs. <laughs> That's a bad one. As an offering for Granite Xhaka, who's been solid for us. Leicester City want a Jose Perez in an exchange. And 900. That is one of the worst offers I've ever seen. One is a winger, which we don't need, because we've already got... Loads of right wingers. And Granit Jack has been one of his best players. He's not going to a rival. However, Rob Holden, VFL Wolfsburg. I mean, it's less than from before. We're not going to let go of Rob Holden. If we are going to get him out, it's probably on loan. But I don't want to sell him. And here we go. Liverpool in the semi-finals of the cup. So that means in the other rounds, it must be... It must be Tottenham and Chelsea. So if we get past Liverpool, it's going to be a rivalry in the final. Or London rivalry which we would love to see beating Chelsea and uh, Tottenham before as well. Beating Liverpool before, I think, in the first game, the Community Shield. Didn't beat them in the league. As this is the team we're putting out, Leno, uh, Cedric coming in for Hector Bellerin, who's actually injured, which is very disappointing. With Gabriel, David Luiz, because I didn't want to change the team up much from the Tottenham game, and he played really well, in matter of fact. With Tierney there as well, Xhaka, Thomas Partey, and Awa, with Pepe, Laka, and Aubameyang as the front three. The trio is still here. As it's going to be a tough test. Is it at home or away? It might actually be at Wembley, won't it? Yeah, neutral. Come on, Carabao Cup semi-final against Liverpool. Let's get it. Hang on, no, it's at home. I've just realised it's at the Emirates. Okay, okay, so we've actually got some uh, support behind us. Maybe it's two-legged? I think it actually might be, you know, as we need to get the better of them in the home leg, especially. This is our place. Let's assert the dominance against a good team, but who have they got out? Alisson, Alexander Arnold, Joe Gomez, Van Dyke, Robertson, Fabinho, Thiago, Henderson, Firmino, Salah, and Mane. So it is the real life team. Aspas and Arias, the only signings who are still on the benches. Can we get the victory? Who knows? However, we are going to start off the brightest here. Granite Xhaka, put that in the middle, put it around the corner. And here's Lacazette, finds Pepe, gets the run. Oh, no, this is Pepe. I think it was Partey before who gets the ball. Pepe turns in, goes with a cross with his left foot, can't get it in. But that's a good ball, you know, across the net. And Lacazette should have got on it. I think it was Cedric whipping it in. And here's Awa, gives it out wide to Aubameyang, who they're talking about being a threat. Can he be a threat? Aubameyang crosses it into Lacazette. Oh, and that touch was horrendous. 
Lacazette doing what he did against Liverpool in real life and squandering a huge chance. It's the side netting, but it's the first touch that made him miss it. And if you've seen some of my streams, you'll know I say this a lot, but really hate passing this year on FIFA. As can we actually make it work here, though? We've got Aubameyang at the back post. Pepe with a good ball over to him. Oh, what a save, Alisson. What a save as Aubameyang should have scored. Not a good finish as Salah coming away with it as well. Mohamed Salah, can he put a ball into the box? Hopefully not, we've slid in there to block it and David Luiz getting a touch to it. Danger still not gone though, as that's a good turn from Firmino. Gives it to Mane, Mane with a good turn. Someone get rid of it as Henderson's missed it, but it's given us a penalty and it's David Luiz. Clown, clown of a player, what's he done here? Oh, David Luiz, I should have put Elvedi in. Oh, he's took him out off the ball as well. It wasn't even anywhere near it as Arteta looked shocked. I'm shocked because I don't even think there was anything given. Can Leno make himself a hero though? Here's uh, Salah and he does! Big save from Burnt Leno and it stays level. We've been the better team and we've deserved not to concede and we've not done. Huge, huge, huge? What even does huge mean? Huge beautiful save from him as he makes another one there. I need to concentrate, get my head in the game. Oh my days, I'm hyping over that though. I'm really hyping over that. What a diving save. It wasn't bottom corner as well. It was more top corner, so it was a good save from Leno to keep him out. As Alwar's going to come forward as well. Give it to Granite Xhaka. Can we hit on the break? That is the question. Pepe in the middle. Lacazette. No, it's Xhaka and he's miles offside. And Lacazette. Can we do it before half time? Catch them on the break. Good ball over to. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang waits for the man from the middle as well in Housey Mawa, who could have a chance on here. Van Dyke coming across, who's going to put a ball into the back post. Partey with control and Partey just wide of the mark, getting close from both sides as this is turning out to be a really good game for the neutral. And there's half time shot from Lacazette just before it was a long shot, it was a pop and didn't really work. But here we go. I mean, we've had more possession, but yeah, Liverpool better on shots. I think that's the story of the game so far. Can we switch it round, though? I'd rather have less of the ball and a goal in the back of the net. Or should I say ball in the back of the net? Goal in the back of the net? What does that even mean, Max? Come on. As Aubameyang gets a run down this wing, though. And if Trent can't get across, we've got a chance here. Aubameyang still going. Aubameyang cuts inside. Gives it. Oh, he's completely taken out as well. Take that free kick. Can I not? Okay, LTRT doesn't work, but that's a good ball, which works from the Y button as it's a good cross, but Alisson catches. Alexander Arnold now, however, is walking back. Turns David Luiz, who stupidly dives in. And same with Aubameyang, but he ain't a defender. Not going to blame him as he's got the ball anyway now. Aubameyang to run down the wing. Trent's being caught forward as well, so keep on going, Alba. Come on, Trent's forward. Trent's forward. Take the most of this as he cuts back and can't get it past Joe Gomez. And Mane going to come at us again. Gabriel stepping across. Don't want another centre-back getting sent off. As that's a good bit of a interplay between both players. The exchange of the ball as they've got it back now as well. Thiago into James Milner who's come on. Firmino tries to get his shot off as well and can't do so. Last 10 minutes of this eventful cup tying. Can we break the deadlock? Willian's at the back post, but Bobamiang's got to run on here. I need to keep looking at Willian. Is he a chance to score here? He has done. Oh, and he's headed it over. It's not his fault. It's a wicked bounce, but it should be 1-0. Oh, my days. How about that for bad luck? And here's Jimmy Milner. Has to make a tackle on him. Can we get that pass off as well? David Luiz, good pass to his... Uh, Best mate in William has got a chance here. How see Mawa? How do you mess up that pass? El Neni, who's just come on for fitness, messes up one of the biggest passes that you need to make in the game. And that's going to be done and dusted now, unless Liverpool go and score. But I can see it being a draw. However, they've cut inside of Cedric, cut him open, cut him to pieces. As El Neni needs to make a tackle, slid in to try and block the cross. And they're messing around with it. One minute on the clock. Come on, don't let them score now. Good block, David Luiz. Falls back to Robertson. And don't let them have the corner, ref. Come on. Game should be over as Shakiri comes on. Imagine Shakiri scoring from this. If he scores from this corner, I would eat my hat. As he's not going to score, but it might go to whoever that is. I mean, Shakiri was taking the corner, not even in the boxes. There we go. Full time whistle. I need to shut up. Nil nil with Liverpool in the first leg of the Carabao Cup. And I'll take it. Very nice result against a strong team. And the stats actually did go on to show that they dominated the second half. As who have we got in this? Uh, in the next episode, should I say? Because we're done for today, actually. Uh, bear with me, though, because we're going to see where we are. We are second place, 12 points behind 
the team that we just drew to. So if we would have uh, picked up a couple more points, we might be on it for a title chance. We have two cup games again against Peterborough and Liverpool, which is disappointing. And we have Man City. And then we have Newcastle in the episode after that. We have Genk in the, what round is it? I think it's 32, maybe. Or the first knockout round, it might just be called that. And we have the transfer window open. So I've got 11 million to spend. Please comment down below some names. Also, a shout out before I forget at the end of this episode to uh, the Footy Hive, which is a new channel coming out from one of the subscribers on this channel who's asked for a shout and I will give him it. I hope that channel does well, doing really good videos for just a spread. Good news about football, so please go and subscribe to them. As unfortunately, guys, this is the end of this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on as well so you do not miss an episode on this channel. Also, got a new career mode coming out very soon and got a live stream. Well, I'm actually recording this on the Sunday, so a long live stream on the uh, Sunday today. So next Sunday, if you're watching this on the Monday, there'll be a long live stream. So stay tuned. But there's live streams every day as well. I mean, bloody quarantine at the moment. So might get some longer ones out for you this week. So hopefully you guys it will enjoy that as well. As that has been it from me. I'm going to stop blabbering. And in a bit, enjoy the rest of your night. Peace. <laughs>